Hi everyone, this is Pino Trogo from San Francisco State University. This is the introduction to drawing for designers class. And um, I'm going to show how to draw a uh, milk carton packaging unfolded. Okay. And this is a follow up on the two drawings that I did last week of the, um, the um, uh, orthographics and the uh, um, as isometric and axonometric, okay? So if you recall, um, yeah, last week I did an orthographic of a, um, I'll cut it up. It was actually not a milk carton, but a goldfish carton. And, um, and so we did separate, separate views. We did this drawing at a half scale um all the different views and then we cut the uh carton we cut it longitudinally and we got this section and then we cut it uh crosswise and we got that section right there looking inside um and then we actually uh drew also a uh, isometric view, which is a special type of axonometric view um, of the carton, right? So we did one view like that, actually. Um, and this is one that I painted and another view like this. And this was actually at scale one, one to one. So what we'll do, because the, um, and this is actually the packaging, which I unfolded, it's quite, incredible actually, because it's got six layers and um, it's sort of boing and rounded because of the way it gets printed and made uh, and scored and so forth. Um, so, so you can see the parts that are glued and the parts that are not glued on the top, right? So when this folds um, at the top actually gets glued just at the top here, not these parts don't get glued. Whereas at the bottom, they all get glued. Um, and um, uh, we're going to take a nice sheet of Bristol board, uh, smooth, and I do have one already taken out. Um, and I'm going to do actually um, the title block again. So you can skip forward if you want. <laughs> by now, you probably know it by heart. But um, but I want to do it because actually I want to show that um, you can't see, but I have a T-square. And if you have a T-square that can slide um, on the edge of your desk, you're going to be able to do things much, much faster. So you can't see it now, but on the left, I have the edge of my board and I'm going to use that and the T-square to work really, really fast. Um, if you don't have a T-square, of course, you you have to use two triangles. Um, so you have to use one triangle like that and one triangle like this to get horizontals and verticals, okay? So, but now just for the sake of time, I will be using a T-square. Uh, this one is one that was, I think, in the list. It's a, actually it's 18 inches. It's aluminum. It doesn't have millimeters, but that's okay. The main function here is to just use it to, um, to help with the other um, triangles, okay? So I will first tape the board down, the paper rather. Um, and let's see, a little bit straight. Um, so you wanna put your tape across this way, diagonally, right? And leave room for the title block and for the border. Um, so I'm going to actually check with my um, T-square to see if, if it's straight, oops, um, relative to my, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to move it now. I'm not going to change it. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, I have my lead again, my graphite. It's actually H, a little softer than 2H because that way you can see the drawing a little better. And I'm going to sharpen it. 
really well with my gadget. And remember, if you don't have one of these gadgets, you can use a piece of uh, sandpaper. Um, but just to remind you that this is the best um, lead and point you can make. Um, if you recall, I think I showed this the last time. You can make it even, even sharper by rolling your pencil on the... Okay, so um, like that. Yeah, so you could have a little pad of tracing paper, I mean, uh, sandpaper and just use that, okay. So, and then of course you have to clean it and I do it usually with my jeans. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna go very fast now because you're, I'm sure you're anxious to get to the actual drawing. So I draw a half inch. I mark rather half inch, half inch, and then three quarters here. And then in the middle of that, a couple of lines for my lettering. Um, and this is good practice for the cube project, okay? Um, because at least you start using the triangles because unless you did the two optional previous ortho and isometric, um, you, you haven't practiced it. So it's a good, it's a good idea to start, okay? All right, so now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move fast. Um, because, and I'm rolling, um, so I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in slow motion. <laughs> as you, as you draw the line, you, you're actually rolling it. Um, well, not, yeah, a little bit, I guess you are a little bit, you have to write, you cannot roll it without literally rolling it over your finger, so losing the grip a little bit, um, because that keeps the point pointing, pointy longer. Um, so let's see, these are my thin lines for my lettering. And Now again, you don't see the T-square, but I'm using it as a as my guide. So first I do a light, um, a light line. And then once I like it, then I finish it off. And again, I start from the ends and go towards the middle because that um, makes your endings much sharper. Okay, so I'm emphasizing these lines a lot. Uh, you don't have to do it quite as much in, in your own drawing, um, but I wanted to show it in the video. Um, the video also is gonna be a little lighter on the sides because of the, um, uh oh, let's see if I can get this line. I have to do it from underneath uh, because the lighting is a little too strong on the very edges. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna put my name and I'm gonna use a different, I don't wanna make that, that pen down now. So this would be 15 uh, milk carton unfolded packaging. Oh gosh, now I forget what we're supposed to write. I think we were supposed to write uh, 220, um, which were to drawing. Drawing, uh, maybe Trogo. Oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, first is your name, okay. I'm not gonna correct it now, but um, I'll make an error there that says, so your name. And so these will be flipped like that. And also we forgot San Francisco State. So that would be after this, SFSU. So this part would be, um, 
yeah there and now the date so this would be due technically three nine i'll leave that leave it like that march 9th even though it'll be a little later because today's already the sixth no today's the fourth right yeah today's the fourth um okay all right great all right so um yeah, I'm gonna keep using my, my T-square and a few times what I'll do is I'll show you how to use the two triangles, okay? Um, so the first thing we need to do is figure out how big in total this is. So now I need a, a ruler that actually um, is long enough and it has also millimeters, which this ruler does, nice. Uh, so what I'll do, actually, I'll make myself a little sketch. Um, I mean, I could also, I could also look at my drawing here and say, oh, okay, these were my dimensions, right? 70 millimeter, these were real dimensions. So why don't I just do that? Because um, this should be good. But these are actually the divisions. So actually what I want is, let's see, 70 times four, technically it should be 280 millimeters from beginning to end, right? From here to here. And it's, uh, yeah, you see, it's interesting. It's actually less, a couple of millimeters less. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but that's interesting. And that probably means that once, once it's put together, uh, you know, the thicknesses and the bending and everything brings it to, um, a total okay so for our drawing um, let's see what one is yeah it's center on center it's actually 69 so that's quite interesting well that's actually no this is 70 and this is 69 so the two sides yeah so because this side was um See which one it was. I had the joint over here, like that. So this was the front, right here. Then this was seventy. So, well, let's check. Oh, that's right. We can tell from here which ones were the sides. So that's. So as it turns out, the side actually with, interesting, the side with the, um, with 70 is not this side, it's actually this side. Okay, so just a little detail there. Um, but we lose a couple of millimeters, right? Yeah, because it's 69, 69, 70 and 70. So instead of being completely 280 from there to there, It's actually, um, it's 278 millimeters. Um, it turns out that um, we have done this drawing at half scale and we had done the uh, isometric at full scale. And my original intention was actually to do this drawing of the, uh, of the packaging unfolded at three quarter scale so that it would fit nicely on the page like that. But I realized that there's a lot of divisions to make and I didn't quite, um, I should have sort of recorded them beforehand. Um, so even with millimeters, it's a little tricky. I could use an architect scale and do three quarter scale and just use the hinges system here but because the other drawings were done with millimeters, I don't wanna mix the two up, okay? So what I've decided is actually to just show the whole thing and we're just gonna erase. Um, in fact, what we could do is completely erase the title block. So, or rather, maybe we can just erase the sides so that we can fit this drawing, okay? And, um, and for the dimensions, once again, we're gonna to refer to the dimensions that are written here. 
even though they're slightly different. There's a couple, one, two sides are one millimeter shorter. Um, so I'm going to, um, yeah, just do that. Kind of leave it. Saving it out a little bit. Um, as I said, I'm going to keep using my T square, moving it up and down on the side of my board here. Um, but I'll also use the uh, also use the triangles together, so you see how they're used. Um, okay. So we said. So now we just we're just going to do it at actual size. Okay. But I'll keep referring to this just in case. So what I was saying earlier was that. It turns out that the side, even though I marked 70 millimeters on this side, it turns out that that actually is the shorter side by one millimeter. Um, anyway, for now, we'll do the total, which we ha has to include the little flap, right? So let's just measure and see what that is. Total, total, total in millimeters because it's easier. It's uh, exactly 29 centimeters or 290. And what I do to split the distance, the margins, what I do is I mark that measurement, 29, right here. And then I just measure how much I have left. And I have left uh, about 16, so eight. So I have eight here. So I'm blocking it out, okay, there. And start by drawing those two lines, kind of light. Um, at the beginning, because you know I don't have all the details yet. Um, so that's my edges, and now I'm just going to do the tall here, and that's going to be oops, wrong ruler. Um, it's 15, okay? So that's 15. So now I'm just gonna split it again. I'm gonna first measure here from the top. I'm gonna measure 15, and then I'm just gonna measure what's left and divide it by two. So 30, 33, 16 and a half. And 16 and a half here. That's gonna give me the, uh, let's see, let's check it. Yeah. The T square of course is very convenient because it can go all the way, right? Without having to, unless you have really uh, big triangles. So that's now the footprint, right? The total footprint. So now I'm just gonna start, I know we said that that side is actually 69. So I'm going to go with the new check dimension. So 69, 70, 69, and 70 millimeters, that is. So I'll just measure 69. Um, it's The trick is to have everything come up just right. 69, 70, 69. 70 and then I have the flap which is in this case 11 and a half yeah well 12 it was close all right um so now I mark those lines actually the other triangle is going to be a little bit this one, a little more practical um, so why don't I go ahead and do these lines actually fairly dark so you can see them on the video. Oh. Yeah, and then I can darken them even further when I actually gonna do the, the real parts. Okay, so, so now let's take the, uh, these big flaps here, there are, 53 and 
well, they're not a flat, they're really the bottom, bottom half and the top half, the big, so 55 and 53 at the bottom. Oh, sorry, 43 rather, always, always start from zero. 43 and 55. So 55 at the top. And 43 at the bottom. Now I have to realize where were they? I lost them. There, 55 and 43. So this gives me a nice, nice basic grid. Um, I'm not actually gonna draw the fact that you see how they're slightly uh, offset, these folds, and that's because, well, actually I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, they're just offset because that allows the folding to happen. If they were all exactly in the same line, it would be harder. Um, so, yeah, so these two actually have to shift up a little bit, these two. And I'm just gonna do that right away and I'm just gonna make it darker. Um, so perhaps I should erase though because otherwise now we're gonna get double lines, just those two. And I bet you it's like less than a millimeter. Um, Oops, I was using inches. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's a millimeter just because at least we can see it. So it's offset by one millimeter. There. And one millimeter here. And now I'm gonna do them dark because I'm already right there. Normally I would do the whole line, but because now we would be getting double lines, I, I'd rather just not do that. Um, but this I can also darken. Okay, so you see they're a little bit offset. And I'm drawing this well from the inside, obviously, right? I suppose I could have drawn it from the outside, but it's the same thing. Um, okay, now it's getting a little awkward. So what if I didn't have the the T square? I would use my triangles, right? So I would set it up um, like this, and. I would draw my lines like that. And so what I'm doing is I'm holding the triangle like this. I'm touching the paper, I'm touching the triangle. And I have a couple of fingers which can move um, to be able to let it slide, but also lock it when it's in the right position, okay? Um, so you should have seen the other video maybe, but if you haven't yet, that's the technique, okay? And um, yeah, and I'm rolling the pencil so that I get a nice smooth line. All right, well, this is gonna be a short, a short video, I think. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is these top folds. It's quite interesting. The more you look at it, the more subtle parts there are like this sort of folds in a little bit. So for right now, I'm just gonna, let's check it. Yeah, would you know, it's like the folds are actually this fold in a little bit, um, but I need the centers in all these things. So that I can pretty, pretty much be sure that it is, that they are centered. Yeah, so 69. Um, what I do is I, sh I shift half a millimeter both sides so I can still use three and a half as my center, even though it's not seven centimeters exactly. Oops. Okay. So 
So these are my centers and I'm gonna now draw them. Now I'm gonna use my triangle at the bottom as a, as a guide and I'm hitting it against the paper, which you can't see, but it's right there. So just to have, you know, center lines, which are useful um, in the top part and the bottom part. in all four sections. Because I don't know yet what I'll be drawing, I'm just making them very, very light. Um, so, okay. So now the top of this part is, let's just say it's four centimeters. Right there, okay, four centimeters. And at the bottom here, we have, well, actually, why don't I draw that before I forget what I just did. Now I'm using the paper on the left side, except it's got some glue, which gets in the way. <laughs> hmm. That might not be a good idea. Okay, also because the paper may not be perfectly square, right? Now I'm trusting that it is square. Well, let's check. It's not, yeah, so that's bad. So I'm not gonna use the edge because that's a bad angle that's not perfectly parallel to the other thing that I used with the T-square. So I have to take something else. I have to take a good line like that. And now I can draw, okay. And I can finish it here like that. Um, so here we have, let's see, 35. That's a little flap at the bottom there. Okay, of course it takes longer if you're just using two triangles, right? I mean, you just have to be patient. Um, so if you can get a T-square and you have a nice table with a nice edge, I recommend it. it things will be faster. Right, because you see now I have to do four First I have to set it up and then I have to draw it and I draw it three times. Um, okay, but I'm getting close because um, this flap is gonna be like that. There's nothing else here. Um, how far does that go? This little flip thingy, uh, 17. There, so these I have to do by hand because it's a special angle. And up above, we have yet another step there. So it's one centimeter from here. And let me just use the T square now for the sake of time. Okay, I think I've got all the parts. The only thing that I don't have is the fact that there is a little curve here. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna use, um, I should have a template somewhere. Just give me a second, uh, looking, looking, looking for the, Platform tools. Okay, I found one that's not a, well, actually the, the circle template is fine. It was, it was a bad triangle because this line was not straight. <laughs> um, okay, I can just sort of eyeball what that might be. Uh, these of course are inches. <laughs> I can never win, but let's see. I'm just trying to match that hole right there. So let's just say it's 516. 
and ideally this template would have you know little cross marks cross hairs i guess it has one below no it doesn't um, to locate where we're going to put it so i think it was 516 yeah so i'm just going to have to eyeball well actually what i can do is mark it in fact where these crossings would be because that's where i um, that's what I need to, if this is my corner, I can line up my circle with those spots, right? Like that. So, so I need uh, two there and two here. Okay. Careful not to hit the camera. Um, So what you all you always want to yeah it's actually a little small I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with the bigger one. Um, you always want to do your curves first when you use a compass or a template because um, it's easier to then connect the straight lines to the circle as opposed to trying to do the opposite connecting the um, the circles to the straight lines. And we're on our way. Um, I'm not going to put dimensions here. There's hardly any room. So anyway, definitely do this drawing because it will um, we will practice um, using the tools, right? I'm just gonna darken the lines that I know are sort of like special. So for example, this one right here. Oh, actually I realized there is another piece that we haven't done yet. So these connect. Now this, you see this angle is actually not going to the center. This is the part outside that allows you to uh, open it up and kind of pop. Um, so where does it go? It doesn't quite go to the center. I have to figure out where it goes. It goes, it goes to, okay, three, yeah. So it's a little less. So it's three centimeters instead of three and a half. So it means that it goes, Right there, three on that side and three on this side. And then it doesn't all it doesn't go all the way up. It's a little bit lower by um, five. Mind you, I'm sure this, whoever designed this took a much longer time because they had to prototype it and make sure that it worked. Um, so where was I? Yeah, okay, here. I'm gonna use the T-square now, it's gonna be a little faster. That, and that, and now that gives me the stop. Okay, actually, yeah. Right here. Now, if I connect it, I know exactly where it's gonna stop right here okay and then I, I i drew it on the other side too but it's only on this side and now these are pretty straightforward i decided not to worry about these i just kept it as a straight line um, so i have to do that and then this these are actually not here. This is just the glue, right? There is no scoring line whatsoever there. So I'll leave those out and I'll just do this, 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 and these two guys. Um, and you could do them using two triangles so that, for example, if I find out um, what angle this is, which is gonna be a little odd, well, 
actually looks very close to 45. What do you know? Look at that. Unbelievable. Seriously? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense since it's at the bottom and it's making a square. Yeah, it actually is. No kidding. Okay. All right. Well, it's 45 degrees. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so perfect. Makes it a little easier. What I was going to say is that if he wasn't, and you were to, you know, you would set your triangles, of course, you would pick the side what it was, and then you move it over to the other one to do the second one. But in this case, it happened to be already nice and easy. And all these lines that I'm going to draw, except the very outer, are actually scores they're not cuts right so these are blunt blades that come down and make the scoring whereas on the on the edge you have sharp blades um the, the thing that does it it's called a die um, so so again you see how i'm going from the beginning and then to the middle and then again from the other beginning so that it's easier to um, it's easier to end your lines very sharply now here it's not because well just because it isn't because the flap at the top is higher it's not 45 so good i can actually get to demo so what you do is you you set it like that you uh, draw it and then with that same angle you move over and you do the the one that you need to do here too because it's going to be the same angle right i mean of course you could just connect the dots but and of course i didn't quite do it it's a little bit off it should be the same um and you do the same here so you select you you kind of find it you draw it and then you move across until you reach what you need right here then lock it and draw your line it always helps to have your hand on the paper as well if you just leave it up there's a risk that things might slide so i think i've got all my diagonals Oh, there's another little bit of detail there. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to eyeball it. Do a half of that flat. And that's it. Now I just have to do... Right, so it's cut out here, right? So this is the only flat down below. So that would be mistake that I just did, which is I started that little flat there, but in fact, it's a little higher. Um, that's what happens when you eyeball it, uh, right? Then I just said, let me eyeball it, bad eyeballing. Okay, so it should have been from um, this other spot right here, correct? Yeah. Okay, now I'm ready to finish this milk carton. Um, and of course, you know, using a T-square or, you know, if you have that other gadget that goes up and down, if you buy one of those boards that has the board, you know, the, with the wires on the sides, um, you know, it's even better, right? But the advantage of course here is that I know the edge of my the edge of my desk, you know, which you can't see, it's always going to be the same, right? So it's very, very helpful and comforting to know that that's unchanged. All right, so now see, I can just do all my, it's like a little bit of a production line here. I'm just going to do all the lines that get. Okay, there, 
I can't see it. I should do it from the top, but I can't see it. So I'm gonna do it from the bottom, which is not recommended um, because you have less control. Remember to leave room for your pencil. So don't lay your ruler exactly on the spot, but move it a little bit. Um, so here I think, yeah, I just have to do all these lines. So again, I'm, I'm rolling my, okay, if I do it in slow motion, I'm doing that, okay, Let's see what I'm, and I guess you still can keep a pretty good grip even though you're, you're rolling it. Um, okay, so this is also all here. Yeah. No, yeah, okay. Something is going on. See how that's not matching right there. I think I did a line earlier that wasn't quite as good. So I have to work this up a little bit. I'm gonna do it in sections. And try to come down a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we finish the verticals and then we can go home. And though we are already home, just double check once again. Now my pencil probably should be sharpened, but I'm a little lazy. I'm just gonna have to keep rolling it more so that it makes a, I can manage to finish the drawing with, with fairly thin lines, even though they're dark, but they're still thin enough. And again, let me finish without the T-square because I don't wanna force you to buy a T-square. So I'm gonna use my other triangle at the bottom here, which you can't see, but it's here. And I'm gonna finish with that, okay? So it does require a little more care. You can see it. Okay, and I'll leave alone the fact that you see the glue here, the part that gets glued, right? I'm, go I'm just gonna leave the, the glue thing. So I think it's good. Um, just double check, got that. Got these guys, got those. Um, these are actually folds here too, right? As they go across, so I'm gonna finish those. Now, because it's short, I can just, I can afford to use the bed edge here. Um, Cause on this short line, nobody would notice. But the line is just a little bit crooked. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more fold there, right? No, actually it's not, it's not a fold. It's just the glue that looks like a fold. Um, that's it, that's my drawing. I'm gonna leave it, um, I'm gonna leave it without, without, um, I'm actually gonna erase my towel block a little bit more. So it looks, a little, it separates it a little better. And why, why don't we just erase it? I mean, the border that is because it's, it's kind of creating a disturbance stuff on top there. Yeah, that's better, right? Um, so yeah, you can just leave the construction lines um, there. And this would be just a joint that just has the title block, but no border, okay? All right, great. See you again, bye-bye.